how to enable camera to api and install google pixel camera on redmi note 5 pro without root and without installing twrp or any other custom recovery so without wasting time let's get started as you can see here, this is Redmi Note 5 Pro and I'm on MIUI Global Beta version 9.4.12 right now. And this is based on Android Pie. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to our Cracksuite YouTube channel, then make sure guys you subscribe to our Cracksuite YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. And now let's start our process. So first of all, I will show you my custom recovery so that you will be sure I haven't installed any custom recovery on my phone. So to go to the recovery mode, press power button and volume up button simultaneously. Then you will be redirected to the recovery mode. And you can see here, I haven't installed any custom recovery on my phone. And you can see here, this is MIUI stock recovery. So now I'll go to the fast boot mode. And as you know that, to go to the fast boot mode, you have to press power button and volume down button simultaneously. Then you will be redirected to the fast boot mode. So we are in fast boot mode right now. So now let's connect your phone with the data cable to the computer and then go to the computer. So now let's go to the computer. So we are in computer right now and first of all you have to download these three files from the description below and then run this ADB setup on your computer. And then press Y and hit enter button and then press Y and hit enter button again and then press Y and hit enter button again and click on next and click on finish and all the necessary drivers are installed on our computer and now copy this MIUI Red Wolf recovery and go to your computer and then go to your C drive and go to ADB folder and paste here and then click right over there and type cmd and hit enter button and command promote will appear so now here you have to type some commands and our first command is fastboot space devices and then hit enter button and some number will shown here that means our phone is connected in the fastboot mode to the computer and then you have to type second command and the second command is fastboot space boot space and then drag this recovery image file from adb folder to the command promote and then hit enter button and this will load here and at the same time you will notice that your phone will also reboot to custom recovery mode and the custom recovery mode is for temporary so don't worry about it and cancel this command promote and cancel this one also and send this HAL3 enable zip file to Redmi Note 5 Pro. And now our work in computer is done. Now let's go to the mobile phone. So we are in mobile phone back again. So now you can remove this data cable. So first of all click on this install button. And then select this HAL3 enable zip file that you have downloaded. So simply click on it and then swipe. And then click on the reboot system and then your phone will reboot here. And then camera 2 API will be enabled on your phone and this custom recovery will be removed from your phone. And this rebooting process is taking some time so we have to wait here. And you can see here finally the phone is completely boots off. And now there is no any application to check either camera 2 API is enabled or not. But I have some application downloaded on my download folder. And I will also suggest you to guys to download this application. And there is Google Pixel application also. And I will provide their link in the description below so that you can easily download this all application. And now I will install all the application one by one. And you can see here manual camera is installed. Now let's install root checker application. And root checker application is also installed on my phone. And now I will open the root checker application to show either phone is rooted or not. And you can see here the phone is not rooted here. And now I will open manual camera to check either camera to API is enabled or not. And you can see here camera to API is enabled here. All the green signals indicates that 
camera to API is enabled. And now I'll go back and install Google Pixel camera application on my phone. And Google Pixel camera application is also installed on my phone. Now I will open it and you can see here Google Pixel camera application is working perfectly fine. There are lots of features available in this Google camera and you can see here there is night mode also available. And finally we have enabled camera to API on our phone and installed Google Pixel camera on our phone. And for this we haven't rooted our phone and we haven't installed any custom recovery on our phone. And now I'll go to the recovery mode and show you guys the custom recovery is removed from my phone and there is MIUI stock recovery on my phone. And now I'll power off my phone and then I'll press power button and volume up button simultaneously then I'll be redirect to the recovery mode. So this will take some little bit of time so we have to wait here. And you can see here this is MIUI stock recovery and the custom recovery is removed from my phone. So there is no any custom recovery on our phone and our phone is also not rooted. That means we can get OTA updates on our phone and we can easily install OTA updates on our phone without any error. So basically this method is for those users who want OTA updates regularly and does not want to root their phone and does not want to install any custom recovery on their phone but want to enable camera to API and install Google Pixel camera on their phone. So I hope you understand how to enable camera to API and how to install Google Pixel camera without any custom recovery and without rooting your phone. So that's it for today guys. Hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button comment below if you have any kinds of problem query or suggestion and share this video as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksoid YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. So that's it for today and see you in my next video until then goodbye.